Hi, in this video, we are covering the basic maintenance of the Docker containers. Here I'm introducing four commands that you must know. The first command is Docker system DF. By using this command, you can see how much disk space is used by Docker daemon. Docker image prune. By using this command, you can remove all unused images. Docker system prune. By using this command, you can remove all unused images, containers, networks, and volumes. Last and the most important command is truncating the container logs. Without further ado, let's kickstart. Docker system DF. The first command is Docker system DF. By using this command, you can see how much disk space is used by Docker daemon. Here you can see we have 5 images, out of 5 reclaimable sizes is 304 megabytes. And one container is active. 1.39 gigabytes of space is reclaimable. And 3.63 gigabytes of space as build cache. Okay, let's try to clear all unused data using system prune command. Docker system prune, by using this command, you can remove all unused images, containers, networks, and volumes. You can see, one container is running. We have five containers, and out of five, four containers are not using. And we have a few unused images too, this all are consuming about, four gigabytes of space in the system. Let's try to reclaim that space. Let's run the system prune command and see what will happen. You can see, if we confirm, then it will delete all unused images, and containers as well as cache. Let's confirm. Done, it reclaimed 4 gigabytes of storage. You can see all unused images are cleared. Only one image is preserved, because we are running one container from that image. You can see all unused images also deleted. Please note, this command is a very destructive command, because if we have a useful container that is in stopped status, then it will delete the container also. So before using this command, use the image prune command in order to make space in the server. Docker image prune, Docker image prune is using to remove unused images from the system. Here you can see, I have three images. Let's try the image prune command. You can see a warning from the system, if we confirm then it will remove all unused images. You can see it has been removed Alpine and Nginx images. But it has not removed the sample 5 image, why? Let's check if there is any running containers. Actually, we don't have any running containers, but you can see we have a stopped container that is using one image. Sample app 5 image is using by one stop container, which is why that image was not removed. Last and the most important command is truncating the container image logs. Definitely, you will encounter running out of storage issues with Docker, because Docker will consume more and more storage, as long as it is running, this is because the Docker container will create a json.log file, inside the Docker installation location, and it contains all logs related with the container, it will gradually become larger and larger, and consume all storage. As you see in the screen, Overly is the container location and it is running out of storage. Let's try to fix this issue using truncate command. 
Go to the container daemon path and get into the respective container. Here you can see a json.log file, actually, these container logs are stored in this file. Please note, it is dangerous to delete this log file for making the storage while running the container, instead, we can truncate the log file. The truncate command will clear all content inside the log file. You can see 4.9 gigabytes of space is utilizing this log file. I will show you how to solve this issue. Let's truncate. Truncate means it will clear the contents of the log files instead of deleting the log file. By default, Docker captures the standard output of all your containers and writes them in files using the JSON format. If we delete this file while running the container, then it will make problems on container, that is why we are truncating the file. Running by this command, we will truncate all containers json.log files inside the container directory. Let's check the current json.log file size. As you see, the log file size became zero without disturbing running containers. Let's recheck the current storage status. Great, we reclaimed 90% storage back. Thank you for watching this video. If you felt this video is helpful then please like and subscribe, in the next video, we will discuss how to rotate docker logs.